How's it been then in, in training this week? Because clearly last Saturday, a frustrating way to start. What's it been like around the club? There's been a good mood in the camp. Um, there has been ever since I came in, to be honest. Obviously, the weekend wasn't ideal. Um, we'd, we'd have liked a better start. We didn't get it. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just one game. There's 45 to go. So um, we've got Oxford next, and that'll be where we'll, we'll try and put it right. Yeah, I'm sure you've had points in your career before where you've had a setback. Is there a, a good methodology to getting a game like last Saturday out of the system? Just for the next game to come as quickly as possible. Um, you know. You'd, you would have liked a Tuesday night game to be honest for it to come around really quick um, because things didn't go to plan at the weekend um, but you get back in on Monday and you iron a few things out with the manager and, and uh, the, the other members of staff and as players as a squad um, and then you move on Yeah and when it comes to individual mistakes in some respects it's dead easy you just find a way not to do it again but I guess it's perhaps a little harder than that It is yeah because you can look at a mistake and then uh, you can analyse it, but chances are that exact thing isn't going to happen again. Um, we know what happened at the weekend and uh, we'll be looking to rect rectify those things and uh, put them right on Saturday. When it came to reacting, if you like, to going the two goals down, was it just too much of a, a challenge at the weekend, opening day, suddenly you find yourself in a, a difficult situation 15 minutes in? Is it a case of just put all of that to one side as best you can now and almost start again with Oxford this weekend? It's the only, way, only thing we can do, to be honest. I mean, obviously the game's gone now, we, we, we've got beat. Um, so we've got to look towards the next game and, you know, if we do get them three points at the weekend, then all of a sudden it's, you know, a, a different start. You've got three points on the board and you can kick on from there. Yeah, and you spend ages in pre-season working on what you've been working on. I guess it's also important and we spoke about it with Darren a few minutes ago, you can't afford to get overly fixated with last Saturday. I know it's a cliche and it's only one game, but with all of that work you put in over pre-season, you want to give it that go this coming weekend and really get those ideas right. You do, um, but I mean, as the manager might have said before, he said it to us that it's, it's, it's quite a few new signings and you know things might take a little bit to click and where it's up to us for them to click as soon as possible and we'll be looking for them to click on Saturday. We would have liked to have clicked on, on the Saturday just gone but it didn't. Um, you know, it, it were there for people to see but there are things that we know we can we can do better and, uh, and uh, we'll be doing that on Saturday, that's for sure. Disregarding the result and the performance last Saturday, overall have you really enjoyed your time so far with the posh? Have you settled in well? 100% yeah, you know the lads are great, the, you know, the people inside the building are fantastic, they've been really welcoming towards me um, and I enjoy coming down here and training every day, it's a great place to work and, and um, you know, let's just hope we get them results at the weekend and uh, climb up that table, that's the main thing. Presumably it's really nice for you on a personal level, having had last season with Bolton, to be coming into work every day and just being at a club where it's properly settled off the field. It is, yeah. Um, it feels different, to be honest. Cause obviously, like you know, it's, it's well documented that um, Bolton was a mess last year and still ongoing at the minute, and that's something that uh, obviously weren't a great time in my career. Um, but luckily enough, I um, uh, the manager came and, and spoke to me quite early, and uh, I managed to sign down here, which I was really happy to do. And uh, I can now crack on the football, and football's the the only thing we speak about here rather than wages which is a lot of things that we uh, a lot of the time it was the, the, the same conversation every day about money uh, but down here it's completely different we do our work on the training pitch and we look towards the games at the weekend which is how it should be yeah and not only does that become a distraction but presumably it gets tiring as well it does yeah I mean it's mentally fatiguing on and off the pitch um, you know mostly off to be honest uh, but now I can half put that to bed, it's not all put to bed, uh, to be honest, but I can actually concentrate on my football more, more so now I'm down here and, uh, and, and I've really enjoyed it since I walked through the door. Just going back to last Saturday, was part of your job, I guess both during and after the game, you've been through well, most things now in the game, having Frankie alongside you, did you just have to have a word with him after just to, to lift him a bit, given that... I suppose when you're younger, you always take it that bit harder. You do. I mean, I think everyone takes it equally as hard when when you win or when, you know. Sorry, when you lose, um, it hurts everyone. It hurts the manager, it hurts all the players equally as much. Um, 
but I think once you get back in on Monday morning, that's when you've got to sort of, you know, push it to one side. And this week's a new week, and you've got another game coming at the weekend, and you've got new things to focus on. Um, and I don't think we had any, you know, heads that were down when we first coming on Monday morning. All the lads were like, "Come on, let's go. We've got another week to go at it here. We've got Oxford at the weekend, and that's that's our main aim. That's our that our only focus at the minute. And uh, like I said, we'll be we'll be looking to put things right on Saturday."